Have you ever wondered what makes the Philippines so important to China? Nestled in the heart of Southeast Asia, the Philippines is not just a cluster of over 7,000 islands but also a pivotal arena on the geopolitical chessboard. Its strategic position near the South China Sea makes it a crucial gateway to major shipping lanes that connect the East with the West. These waters are not merely blue stretches on the map, but vital arteries for international commerce, ferrying billions in trade across continents. For China, a nation whose economy is significantly buoyed by trade, the influence over or even partnership with the Philippines offers a commanding vantage point. It's an opportunity to safeguard these maritime routes, which are lifelines for energy supplies and goods. Imagine the global trade dynamics teetering on the axis of this archipelago's cooperation or conflict with superpowers. So it's clear, geography plays a crucial role, but is that all there is to it? But how did these two nations come to view each other as significant? The intricate tapestry of China-Philippines relations is woven with threads of both historical engagement and discord. The story begins as far back as the Ming Dynasty, when the Philippines was integrated into China's esteemed tributary system. This system involved various Southeast Asian nations acknowledging Chinese supremacy in exchange for trade privileges and diplomatic recognition. This period marked the beginning of sustained interactions, with Chinese goods like silk and porcelain flowing into the Philippines, while the archipelago reciprocated with pearls, gold, and other local treasures. However, the waters of history are not always tranquil. Fast forward to the 20th century, and you find the South China Sea turning into a hotbed of geopolitical tension. The region, rich in natural resources and strategically located, has been the focus of several territorial disputes between China and the Philippines. These disputes have not only strained relations but have also highlighted the complex interplay of historical claims and modern international law. Moreover, various incidents throughout the decades, including naval standoffs and fishing rights conflicts, have further complicated the scenario. Each confrontation, while rooted in the present, echoes the centuries of layered interactions between these two nations. Clearly, history is laden with both cooperation and contention. Moving beyond history, what binds these nations today? In the intricate web of global economics, the relationship between China and the Philippines stands out as a particularly vivid thread. China has ascended to become one of the Philippines' largest trading partners, a relationship underscored by a complex blend of cooperation and competition. The economic dance between the two nations is choreographed around substantial trade flows and investment. The Philippines, with its strategic location and burgeoning market, exports a diverse array of products to China, including electronics, machinery, and fruits. In return, it imports a vast range of goods from China, from machinery and equipment to consumer goods, which underscores the interdependence in their trade relations. But the story doesn't end with trade. Chinese investments in the Philippines have surged, particularly in infrastructure projects under the Belt and Road Initiative. This grand strategy by China aims to enhance regional connectivity and embrace a brighter economic future. Major projects include bridges, roads, and the much-discussed railways, which promise to knit the archipelago closer together, while tying its economic fortunes more tightly with China. These investments are seen as a double-edged sword. While they contribute significantly to the Philippine economy, providing jobs and boosting local industries, they also bring concerns about sovereignty and financial sustainability. Debates swirl around issues like debt trap diplomacy and the geopolitical strings attached to Chinese money. These economic ties paint a picture of deep interconnection, yet tensions remain. But what about the halls of power? How do political and military goals shape this relationship? China's ambitions in the Asia-Pacific are vast and complex, driven by a desire to assert its influence and secure its perimeters. This ambition is particularly visible in the South China Sea, 
a crucial maritime region that sees over $3 trillion of trade pass through annually. China claims almost the entire sea, despite international disputes and the presence of competing claims from several Southeast Asian nations, including the Philippines. The Philippines, on the other hand, finds itself geographically and strategically at the heart of this tumult. The country's location on the eastern edge of the South China Sea makes it a pivotal player in maritime security and regional diplomacy. Historically, the Philippines has maintained close ties with the United States, which has been a counterbalance to the rising Chinese influence. This relationship is underpinned by various defense agreements, such as the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement, which allows the United States access to certain Philippine military bases. China views these bases with a wary eye, seeing them as strategic assets that could be used by the U.S. to project power and influence in the region. In response, China has ramped up its own military presence. It has fortified several islands in the South China Sea with military bases, runways and missile systems. A move that has been viewed with concern by neighboring countries and beyond. The military buildup is not just about hard power, however. It's also about soft power influence with China engaging in diplomatic overtures to try and sway Philippine allegiance. Initiatives like infrastructure investments under the Belt and Road Initiative are part of this strategy, aimed at binding the Philippines closer economically and politically to China. As stakes in political and military arenas escalate, so does the complexity of their relationship. This intricate dance of diplomacy, military might and economic strategy continues to define the Sino-Philippine relationship in the Asia-Pacific, setting the stage for a geopolitical drama that resonates far beyond their borders. Enjoying the deep dive into China-Philippines relations? If this journey through the corridors of geopolitics intrigues you, consider subscribing. It's the best way to stay updated with our in-depth analyses. Now, back to our exploration. It's not all politics and economics, right? What about the people? The cultural and social exchanges between China and the Philippines paint a vivid picture of interaction that goes beyond mere diplomatic ties. These exchanges shape perceptions, build bridges, and foster a deeper understanding between the two nations. Imagine the bustling streets of Manila's Binondo, the oldest Chinatown in the world, established in the late 16th century. Here the air is thick with the aroma of mooncakes during the mid-autumn festival and the sound of firecrackers on Chinese New Year. This vibrant community embodies the enduring presence and influence of the Chinese in the Philippines. Tourism, too, plays a vital role. Before travel was disrupted worldwide, hundreds of thousands of Chinese tourists annually explored the Philippines' pristine beaches and historic sites, bringing cultures closer with every visit. On the flip side, Filipino tourists in China walk the Great Wall and marvel at the Forbidden City, soaking in the rich history and culture. Education forms another bridge. Numerous students from the Philippines pursue higher education in China, attracted by scholarships and opportunities in fields like engineering and technology. These students return home not just with degrees, but with experiences and friendships that sow seeds of mutual respect and understanding. The Chinese-Filipino community, with their unique blend of traditions and modernity, continue to thrive and contribute significantly to the Philippines' social fabric. Through festivals, food and family ties, they keep their heritage alive, enriching the multicultural tapestry of the nation. So the bonds between China and the Philippines are not just strategic but also personal. Looking ahead, what does the future hold for China-Philippines relations? As we peer into the horizon, the interplay between China and the Philippines could follow several trajectories, each shaped by the currents of international diplomacy, economic strategies and regional security dynamics. The South China Sea remains a cauldron of contention, with its vast resources and strategic maritime routes drawing intense scrutiny. Here, the potential for conflict or resolution hangs delicately in the balance. In the realm of diplomacy, China could intensify its charm offensive, 
seeking to solidify its influence in the Philippines through increased investment and cooperative initiatives. This approach would aim to weave a tapestry of economic interdependence that might soften political tensions and forge a more collaborative relationship. Conversely, the Philippines, buoyed by international law and support from global powers, might continue to assert its maritime rights, potentially leading to a firmer stance against any overbearing maneuvers by its colossal neighbor. Additionally, the specter of global power shifts looms large. As the United States and other Western countries recalibrate their focus toward the Indo-Pacific region, the Philippines could find itself an ever more crucial ally, thereby affecting its dance with China. This alignment might either buffer the region against unilateral actions by China, or provoke further assertions of sovereignty by Beijing. Environmental concerns and joint resource management might also emerge as pivotal areas where cooperation could either flourish or flounder, depending on the prevailing political winds and mutual recognition of long-term benefits over short-term gains. As the geopolitical chessboard continues to shift, so will the dynamics between these two pivotal nations. Today we've journeyed through the complex layers of the China-Philippines relationship. Let's take a moment to recap the fascinating points we've discussed. Starting with the strategic significance, the Philippines' location is a pivotal gateway in the South China Sea, essential for maritime routes and territorial influence. This makes it a focal point in regional power dynamics. We then delved into the historical context where centuries of interaction have woven a tapestry of complex ties and mutual influences between these two nations, shaping their current diplomatic and social landscape. Economic ties also play a crucial role, with trade, investment, and infrastructure projects binding the two economies. These interactions are not just transactions, but bridges that connect lives and futures. Political and military interests are ever-present, reflecting a balance of cooperation and contention, with both nations navigating a delicate dance of diplomacy and strategic positioning. Cultural exchanges and shared histories enrich this relationship, fostering a deeper understanding and mutual respect between the peoples of China and the Philippines. Looking ahead, the future prospects of this relationship are poised on the cusp of new developments in geopolitics and global economics, promising a landscape of opportunities and challenges. Subscribe for more amazing content and keep wondering about the intricate relationships shaping our world today. Don't miss out on future explorations and discoveries. Hit subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated with our new content. Your journey of wonder continues with every video. Stay connected and engaged on social media. Continue the conversation, follow us. Thank you for being a part of the Have You Ever Wondered community. Keep wondering, keep discovering. Until next time.